Bianca, and Twilight is one of my favorite movies, books, and for lack of better words, eras of all time. It brings me back to a place that I find most comforting. It leads me down a rabbit hole that was once my childhood. More than 600 frantic fans lined up early, some waiting overnight to get a glimpse of the glitter at the premiere of Twilight. Fortunately for myself and the Twilight fandom, I was 11 to 12 years old when the books became popular and 12 to 13 years old when the first movie hit theaters. We'd all dress up in our finest garb to wait outside of our local cinema with other tween and teenage girls for midnight premieres of a saga that would change our lives forever. I specifically remember wearing a vampire themed shirt from Hot Topic that said, bet you can't read my mind to the Breaking Dawn part one premiere. It was a shirt and identity I cherished throughout those first few years of high school, so much so that I'd wear a vampire fangs necklace until I went off to college and decided that it was time to retire my vampire a bit. But don't worry, I still have real ones where they left off. Now, the point of this vlog goes beyond my deep desire to be with either Edward Cullen or Jacob Black. The point of me painting this with a sprig of colorful chaos stems from a trip I've been planning for years. Just thought I'd never be able to get around to. Oh my God. The gods must have known I was planning a Twilight Core adventure vacation right now. <laughs> That's right, I'm going to Forks, Washington, baby. And you're coming with me. But first, we have to figure out what the hell we're packing. And just so you know, this vlog is not going to be the Twilight Extravaganza exploring Forks, Washington and St. Helens, Oregon vlog. This is specific to finding outfits for this trip. Basically, I want to wear clothes that emulate both Bella Swan's outfit and Alice Cullen's outfits. Their fashion sense to me is just so, uh, it's such a time capsule of 2008 fashion and it was everything that I aspired to be as a child. So as an adult, why not play a little bit of dress up too? Also, since I don't have a time machine to tell 12 year old me that Miley Cyrus little vests from Walmart are back in style now, we might as well just play the part. But of course, like I prefaced, we have to thrift a bit. To simplify this process of one, manifesting me finding clothes I know I donated 15 years ago, and two, building up the courage to wear clothes I know I donated 15 years ago, I made a Pinterest board called Twilight Core. In it lies every outfit idea my tween year brain adored, although I'll say my style was often imitating Alice Cullen, although at the time, 2009 to be exact, I thought she was <gasps> annoying. But my God, I'm sure so was I. The board has a ton of skinny jeans, layered long sleeves, button ups with vests or tanks tucked under shirts or overcoats. For Bella Swan looks, I am mainly interested in the idea of cozy comfort, cool, low maintenance fits that mimic the slower world that is the Pacific Northwest. I'd like to find specific pieces that'll help me bunch together my overall palette for this Twilight Core travel trip. For Alice Cullen looks, I'm certainly trying to find a lot of unique lace pieces as well as skirts that are comfortable, as well as practical for potential mix and matching. Some thrifted skirts I currently have just don't fit in the right places and I've been mentally preparing to sell or to donate them. Now here's my trying to thrift list. I definitely want some lace camisoles, long sleeve Hollister or Abercrombie tops, and I'm very specific on the Hollister and Abercrombie because of the way that they fit super tight just like how Bella Swan used to wear them striped tight shirts, a 2010 core Bella Swan fashion, which basically is all of these outfits that you see. Of course, Alice Cullen bookish sort of style. So like vests with collars or just collared shirts in general or long sleeves collared shirts, short sleeve collared shirts, whatever kind of I could get my hands across, I would love to. And this is just representative of like 2010 core emo fashion. I would love to try to find a messenger bag. And if I come across the right pair of skinny jeans or different sorts of layering sort of situational tops to go with said skinny jeans, I think that would be perfect. Now, before we head to the thrift store, let's do a haul of items I already own so we can avoid overconsumption and having a double. And I also really just don't wanna overpack. This is a black pea coat that I have, a brown thrifted coat that I found in the Goodwill bins. I do have some vests. I of course have jeans already. My Twilight shirts. I have a bunch of Converse. I have Mary Jane's. Wired headphones, of course. I have denim skirts and armband gloves. Starting now thrifting for all like the long sleeve buttony shirts and I just came across some good ones. I don't know how the color could have been more perfect. This is an extra large so I don't think I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna put it down but right next to it was one that was super super similar. Also I think this might be kind of big. I'm looking for like kind of more tight sort of shit but still isn't it? We're, on a, we're on a good roll. We're, we're, we're doing, we're doing freaking good. I'm so excited because that's exactly 
This is like exactly the shit that I want. Like this is perfect. I'm gonna have to try it on. I'm gonna put it back because I don't think it's like absolutely perfect. I'm really looking for things that are like more tight. The best part of this thrift store is that they color code literally everything. So I found the forest green section, which is obviously super, oh my God. This is way too lime green, but wouldn't this be perfect? because it emulates kind of like the lacy detail of like that era with this. But I found a bunch of stuff, guys, and I think I'm gonna have to switch to a cart, actually. Obviously, I'm gonna do a haul when I'm all said and done with everything, but my process here is kind of simple. It's starting off with kind of silhouettes and then working from the silhouettes to try to see like the sizings, right? Like, oh my God, like I, this was, it's a large though. I don't know if I'm in the right in the way that I want it to fit it's gonna have to be like a small but I'll deal with a large and maybe like tie it in the back that shirt was perfect hold on like this is exactly and then I could even wear the buttons a little bit open usually I'm looking for things to be like big and baggy but this is so hyper specific because Bella is like so tiny and I want to like I want to look like that okay we're getting closer to the prize because on my Pinterest board I have a bunch of Hollister shirts that like I literally used to have in middle school just to like go with this kind of vibe. Although she doesn't really wear sweaters like this, so I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and leave this for the next person, even though guys, this is literally gonna be half off. All white tags are half off, so it's gonna be only $2.50. Should I just? It's a little raggedy though, like, I mean, it's like fine. If this Hollister shirt was stationed like this with the buttons, oh my God, forget about it. And in my size, in a size small, forget about it. We would have won the jackpot just now. Um, oh, this is from Madewell. It's probably like nice and soft. I'm really strategically looking for these buttons. Pretty loaded up on like the long sleeves. I'm gonna have to completely go through them. Also, I just lost a nail because it got stuck in the hanger, but I finally made it to like the stripes and the black and white section. You guys saw that I have so many striped long sleeves on my mood board for this. So now is just gonna be the opportunity to find like the perfect fit. This is gonna be way too big. I already know that looking off the bat. So I'm gonna go through this whole rack and see. Okay guys, I told you I would fucking find it. And here we are. Hollister <laughs> gray sweater that's not a pullover, has buttons. <laughs> I am a thrift god, motherfucker. And it's so funny because I was going through this rack and I was like, ah, I don't need to look at that one. Like sometimes I'll skip over certain ones. And then I went, no, just because I said that, I gotta go back. And I went back and it's the exact thing that I wanted. Okay, every single time I go through a rack now, I keep finding friggin' Hollister. And I swear it's because I spoke it into existence by saying, oh my God, I need to find this Hollister XYZ. And I was genuinely like, determined. It's literally witchcraft going into a thrift store. If you guys need witchcraft videos, I have an entire playlist on witchery. I need a cart. It's like almost like rude that I don't have a cart and I'm wheeling this around. I'm not getting everything here. I just need to like deep digest and then I'll put everything back like a good Samaritan. This is actually like the most full cart that I think I've had in a really, really long time thrifting, but it's mainly because I'm seriously on a mission. I also need to try a lot of stuff on, which is never really how I'm able to. I actually don't know if this store has a uh, try on, but I'll figure it out. Made my way to the bag section and look at the messenger bag that I found. It's quite heavy though, so I don't think I'm gonna be taking it. Okay, I'm going through my whole pile now. We have a lot of no's, but we also have a lot of yeses. We're like in a total back corner where no one's even remotely over here. No pile right here. We have some maybes, we have some yeses. We have a bunch of white collared shirts to try on to see which is the best for Alice Cullen. I found this, which is the absolute most perfect Bella Swan shirt. For instance, what I did was grab like a bunch of things, uh, as you saw, that were similar, but I didn't know or whatever. So I have these two green button shirts. I'm gonna see which one looks the best and then I'm gonna choose from there. There's no reason to get two. I think I'm gonna like this one better and I think it works out for me because it's cheaper. Yeah, I wish it was, I wish this was a small, this. <laughs> this one's just gonna be an L because it, it's bigger than this one and if I'm already wanting this one smaller. Guys, I just took your intermission, but you're not gonna believe the shirt I just tried on. Oh, and it has thumb holes, I didn't know. Just picture this shirt being like a lace cami instead of like the little tank top that I have to try stuff on. This is so exciting. I'm very excited to do the haul. I haven't put on a pair of proper skinny jeans in a really long time and I just put on some thrifted pair and they fit really, really well. Like they actually, I don't know how I do it every single time. I do not read sizes. I do not whatever. I just guesstimate because I know my body very well. Like, ugh, like I just can't imagine myself on vacation, like wearing these, even though they're super Bella Swan core. Like I can't really like move so much 
watching them. It reminds me of like literally being in middle school and high school as a scene kid. So it's gonna be a no, but I felt like showing you guys. Okay, but these skinny jeans that are Abercrombie and Fitch, I can literally get behind. Are you kidding? They fit so perfectly. They fit and they're stretchy. Like, look, like I could do that. If I could do that and I don't feel uncomfortable, then we're good. But these are another pair I just tried on. And I would say that they fit perfectly, but like you see the back, like this has kind of always been like a running issue with sort of skinny jeans. That's why I do tend to wear like mom jeans and high-waisted. That this is nothing that a belt can't fix because they are really cute and they have little zippers on the side and immediately right after this twilight trip i'm going to when we were young again so their theme is like pink green black and white so i feel like i i, I kind of like them and they're lucky jeans here's the highly anticipated thrift haul specific to all of the bella swan shirts i bought please note that i did buy some more pieces but i'm going to leave that up to the imagination of when i'm actually away on this vacation to style them for both youtube tiktok and instagram i really hope you'll go a wee bit out of your way to follow me over there to see the magic come back to life in a place like the pacific northwest a few favorites from the shop were this gray and black texture pattern tight fitting long sleeve. I love when long sleeves have those built in higher at the wristbands and I was seriously stalking the aisles for ones that looked exactly like this. This baby pink color top fits so nicely and I can't wait to wear layers underneath and on top of it. My absolute winner here is this bright white shirt with thumb holes. It was the best fitting and crispy shirt in the bunch and I am so happy it's now mine. This gray one with buttons, that is runner up. I think I forgot to show you or maybe I didn't even realize it, but this shirt also has thumb holes. This was the striped shirt that I found. When I keep seeing it on my bedroom floor while packing, I keep being upset, but rewatching this while I try it on, I am so happy about it because it fits so well. It looks way better on than it does lonesome and even though I wish it were darker striped, I truly love it. This cheetah one is comfy and I think I can use this for Bella, Alice, and it was justifiable because I am going straight to When We Were Young Festival from this trip. It'll be a good layering piece for more alternative wear. And lastly, you saw the Hollister gray cardigan sweater already, but I've got to get you again because it was just a lucky one. Remember, I did get a few more pieces that I didn't show you, which include three button-ups, white, blue, and gold, as well as a few pair of jeans, one being Abercrombie and & Fitch and another being American Eagle both telling of the twilight times. Speaking of, I need you to see what I got custom made for one of my trip outfits. That is all. Here's a quick photo dump of some things I tried on that just didn't quite work and I would love to stick around and do a what I'm planning on wearing on my Twilight Trip portion of this video, but I think I'm going to wait until I'm in the holy land of Forks, Washington. I will fully film that for you, so please make sure you're subscribed. If there's something super specific you'd like me to portray, or if you have Pacific Northwest recommendations while I'm there, comment on this video or DM me on Instagram. I am going mid-October, so it is very, very soon. Actually, I'm away right now. Oh my fucking God! I can't wait to explore the nostalgia with all of you. I'll see you when I see you and have a magical, whimsical, irrevocable Halloween season. Bye. Bye.